In Silhouette Studio, when we want to cut an image that we found, for example, on Google, um, we need to make sure that we need we trace it before because the machine will won't recognize it as a file that needs to be cut. It just recognizes as an image. So now I'm gonna go to my file files panel. I'm gonna open this snowflake and I'm gonna move it to the center for right now. My trace panel as you can see is to our right screen. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna click on select trace area. I'm gonna select all the snowflake and in here you have different options options you can trace um, which will cut all the edges inside and outside of your image you can trace the outer edge so this will follow just the outer line of your image and in this case this little um, diamond shapes will not cut so this part will stay solid and our third option is trace and detach think about trace and detach as a cookie cutter it this will cut the entire image from a uh, white background and um, this is basically the same also kind of like trace so for this i'm just gonna hit trace and it seems like nothing happened, but when we move our um, image of the snowflake, as you can see, it came, it moved all, um, all the way with the white background. If we would have had traced and detached, we would have had a white background, and I will demonstrate that in one second. But right now, we have just the snowflake. So let's hit undo so we can do the uh, trace and detach option. And right now, we're gonna hit trace. I'm gonna select the area again. And I'm gonna hit uh, trace and detach. And let's see what happened. So as you can see, now I move the snowflake and it comes with the, this white um, spaces in between the diamonds. I have this other part, which is my, uh, think about it as like the paper, and I have my image. But in this case, I have also some residue that I wasn't seeing before. So I'm gonna get rid of this snowflake in our quote-unquote paper rid of all these lines that we were not counting on because if we if we send them right now to our machine it's gonna try to cut all these lines and we don't want that even these little um, dots so let's go back to our canvas and i'm gonna move the snowflake out of my mat and I'm going to select everything that I have on my mat. And I'm just going to hit delete. So that gives us a clean, a clean canvas. I can just move my uh, snowflake. And now when I send it, I have a solid snowflake.